Ich Ichiban Moto may help you. Hey, Ichiban. Hey, Dino. Uh, listen, I got some velocity stacks here off my old uh, CB750, and I was wondering if you can, um, you know, give them that really cool treatment that you came up with. Yeah, absolutely. I you can. Uh, all right. So, so what do you want me to just put them in a box, ship them off to you? Uh, just mail them to the shop. How soon do you think you can get them back to me? Because, you know, I mean, I'm right here in the middle of a video and I need them as soon as possible. Uh, two days. Okay, a couple days, huh? I'll get them shipped right to you and, uh, hey, you know, just put it on my bill. No, just, just send, just send cash. You didn't pay your last bill. No, it's, yeah. No, yeah, I, I paid it. Yep, you did look through your records. Uh, no, I looked around. Yeah. No, the no, you didn't send any money, but you sent that nice chicken pie. So, no, that was the squirrel. Just send cash. Well, I'll get them in the uh, I'll get them in the mail and send them out to you, and I'll look for those real soon. Just send cash. Thanks a lot. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Looking forward to it. I'll get those right back to you. Keep on uh, being badass. <laughs> Later. So today I received the package from Dino at Hack -A Week TV. This is his YouTube channel or you can click in the info button in the upper right hand corner. These are the carburetor to airbox boots off of Dino's CB750 basket case he's doing videos on and they are extremely hard. To show you a comparison this is a boot off of my KZ1000 and it's nice and pliable but Dino's are hard as a rock. For today's video I'm going to show you how to rejuvenate old hard rubber motorcycle parts. So the first thing I need to do is clean off all of this surface grime and scum before I can start to rejuvenate these. So I'm going to use some Nickel Town Customs rubber cleaner. And then give them a good rinse in fresh water to remove any residue. And dry them off with a clean towel. So the next step is to anneal the old rubber. Because this rubber is 40 years old and it's been clamped on carburetors and under stress and vibration, it's basically work hardened. But you can re-anneal rubber. And to do that, you heat it above the recrystallization point, And that allows dislocation of the molecules and alters the physical and chemical properties. Basically makes it soft and ductile while reducing hardness. So I'm going to use my annealing oven, some regular tap water. And what that'll do is that'll create enough heat and steam to re-anneal these rubber parts. So I'm going to heat them to about 95 degrees C. I think that's, I don't know, 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Heat them up to that point, let them stay hot, and then slowly cool down. So now I'll let this cool back down to room temperature. It's extremely hot right now and it'll probably take about 30 to 45 minutes. And never touch this thing without using a oven mitt. After annealing, they are a little more pliable and you could probably pry these on and off carburetors just fine. But don't cheat yourself by stopping here because they'll just get extremely hard again and you'll be back to where you were. So the next step is to actually replace the plasticizers that have leached out of the rubber over the last 40 years. You can scale up and scale down the recipe to meet your needs. I start with five drops of seal oil. It helps everything blend together. Five milliliters of replenisher. One chalk tablet. I use the mortar and pestle to grind up the chalk. My wife made me this in her glass blowing class and one spork of fennel soda detrimine. It's pretty powerful stuff. And three drops of wintergreen oil. For the base of the plasticizers I use the genuine Makuni stuff. And with everything in the mixing container I blend it together using some denatured alcohol one liter of water in my soaking container and I'm just going to add my concentrate and blend it thoroughly. And with the solution complete you can just drop the rubber in 
and let it soak for 24 hours. And make sure to put a lid on it so the solution doesn't evaporate. So I've had the rubber bits soaking for about 27 hours and now it's time to fish them out and dry them off. The rubber still looks old and chalky but it's been restored with the annealing and replasticizing process so he'll be able to install these right away and use them for years. Since the outside looks a little dull I think I might uh, wipe some silicone oil just on the outside that way they'll polish up and look much better. Yeah, that silicone's working really nice. Gives it a nice little shine. They don't look new, but they look really good for 40-year-old rubber parts. Badass. So I'll get these carburetor to airbox boots boxed up and sent back to Dino at Hack Week TV. And he's going to need to adjust his carburetor, so I'm going to send him one of my Ichiban Moto metric carburetor tweakers. Restoring rubber parts is so badass, I'm giving it 5 out of 5 Ichiban Moto stickers. Make sure to check out Dino's Hack a Week TV YouTube channel. His links and information are below in the video description. Subscribe for future Ichiban Moto videos. It's also cool if you like them and share them with your friends. And if you'd like to see something in a future Ichiban Moto video, leave me a comment below.